Okay guys, so in today's video, I'm gonna be showing you how I did my last card trick, the breakout. It is an advanced card trick, mostly because there are a lot of sleight of hand things that you're gonna need to keep track of. But other than that, it's actually not that bad. It's also really, really fun to do in general. So I think you guys are going to like this a lot. So let's get right into the tutorial. So for this trick, it's impromptu. The deck can be completely shuffled by the spectator and everything. I like impromptu tricks a lot. First thing you're gonna wanna do is you say, okay, we're gonna get out three jacks. So just get out the first three jacks that you see. It does not really matter what they are. So you get out three jacks just like this. And I like to order them in a alternating color order, like red, black, red, or black, red, black, depending on which ones you pulled out. Um, I just think it makes it look a little bit more nice. And as you're spreading through looking for those three jacks, when you're done looking for them, you're going to go to the top half of the deck, and you're going to glance at the top four cards. If you have seen the performance, and if you haven't, be sure to check it out so that you know what I'm talking about in this part. If there is a king within the top four cards, give the deck a quick cut so that there are no kings within the top four cards. So in this case, if I would look, there are no kings within the top four cards, so I'm perfectly fine. But for an example, if there was a king within the top four cards, like if there was a king right here, I would have to give the cards a little cut just like this to lose that king in the middle of the deck. Because these four cards, you want them to be random cards. Once you have four random cards on top of the deck, you're gonna go ahead and get out four aces just like this. And you're gonna explain the story of the jacks. I used a story where they were arrested for robbing a bank, and the four aces are going to escape them out of jail, just like this. So you set them down just like that. Now what you're gonna do is when you set down the aces, you're actually gonna get a break under the top four cards, just like this. So you're gonna spread through cards just like this, and I like to place my index finger on that fourth card so that I just remember where it is. And now once it's on that card, I square up and I lift up the cards. Once I put my pinky in there, I obtain a pinky break. Now once you have a pinky break right under the four cards, you're gonna actually lift up and you're gonna riffle off one of those cards, and then put your ring finger in there to separate it, and then now you have a thumb break. So you have three cards now with one card just like this, and I'm holding two breaks now with a pinky break and a ring finger break just like this. Um, this is three cards right here on top, and then the ring finger break right below that is one card, and then the pinky break separating that from the deck. And then you take four aces, and you just set them on top in any order. And now you can let go of the ring finger break now because... You're just going to pick up the cards, but you're going to maintain that thumb break with your thumb just like this. And now, what you're going to do is you're just going to peel off four aces just like this. So you're going to say, ace of spades, ace of diamonds, ace of clubs, and the ace of hearts. You're not going to peel it off, because you're going to expose those cards. You're actually just going to drop this thumb break. You're just going to drop the card. So just drop the card just like this. Drop the card. And now you're going to riffle off the cards and then keep a pinky break separating the ace of hearts with these three random cards. You're going to go ahead and just pick up all these cards right here, which is just the Ace of Hearts and three random cards, just like this. And you're just going to set these on the table, squared up just like this, so you don't flash those cards. They think that this is four aces, but what you actually have is a random card with three face-up aces on the deck. So now you're going to flip over the deck, do a pinky pull-down with the bottom card, which is a random card, then you're gonna hold a thumb break just like this. Swing cut over the cards into your other hand like this. You're gonna drop this thumb break right here, drop it, boom, drop that thumb break, and then table cut that down, table cut this right on top of it. So all you've done is just move that top card to the bottom. So now you have three face up aces on top of the deck. But keep the deck face up, because now you're gonna pull out the four kings, and you're gonna explain that the four kings are going to represent the jail cell for the jacks just like this. So you're going to pull out four kings, and you're going to flip them over, set them on the top of the deck, just like this, and keep everything squared up. You're going to feel a natural break because of these face-up aces. They're face-up from the deck, the bend in the cards. It's just a natural break that separates the cards. So from the side, I just like to use my thumb to feel for that natural break right there between the two face-down cards. And then I just pick up all these cards, which are four kings and three aces, just like this. So I just pick up the cards set them down, and I spread off the top three kings. One, two, 
three, and I hold these four cards as one, just like this, and I just hold it, I can kind of go like this, square up the cards, flip over the entire pack. You're going to spread off one, two, three cards once again. But now, these are three aces. They think it's kings. Oh, the kings are actually right here. Okay, so once you're in this position, you're going to go ahead, take the three jacks, and you're going to say, okay, now we're going to place the jacks in their separate cells, just like this. And you're going to interlace them with the three cards, just like this, which are the three aces. Now you're going to take your pinky, you're going to kind of lift up all these six cards right here for just a brief moment. Take your pinky, place it right here as you take the cards and square them up. Now you have a pinky break right below the last jack. Then the, all the cards above the pinky break, you're going to lift them up and in jog them just a little bit, just like this. This is definitely exaggerated. Um, but then once you have the, those cards in jogged, you're going to flip over the entire pack just like this. And these are just the four kings that are out jogged. So you're just going to lift them up with your thumb as you push them in. So now you can have a thumb break separating the four kings, which have nothing, with the three aces with the three jacks. Those will be separated by this thumb break right here, just like this. So now in this next part, you are going to explain that there are two parts of the jail. And I will bring the deck up just so that you can see what's happening. But in the real performance, the deck would be on the table for this part. But I'll show you what's happening. You say there are two parts of the jail. You're going to come over the lower part of the pack. The lower part separated by the thumb break is going to be flush with the deck while you cut about half the deck and you set it onto the table just like this. Now you're going to come away and you're just going to take the kings. So you're just going to take the kings because you've now dropped off the aces with the jacks onto this pack right here. But you're going to come away with just the kings now, and you're going to place them on this pack and say, and then this is the inside of the jail where the jacks are being kept. Then you come over with this pack, pick up this pack, and then pick up the aces with your other hand. And as you come over and place this pile on top of the aces, which is actually just one ace and three random cards. You're going to come over with this ace, get a pinky break right below that top ace, place the pack on top, and then you're going to cut about half the cards. It really doesn't matter how much cards you cut, just about half of the cards. Then you're going to place them right inside of that gap, just like this. Slide them right in that gap, and now the trick is completely done. You can snap your fingers, and then you can show that the kings have now nothing in between them and that there are no jacks in this pile. And then you can spread through those cards, showing the face-up aces just like this. And then you can say that the aces has that the aces have the aces have successfully escaped the three jacks just like this. And that's the trick. Hopefully you guys like this video and see you guys next time. Bye.